Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Cool. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, today, Yunju and I will present our recent work, 3D neural scene representation for visual motor control. This is a joint work with uh, Vincent, Pocky, and Antonio. Human have a strong intuitive understanding of 3D environment purely from visual observations. The intuitive physics engine in our brain enable us to perform a wide range of manipulation tasks as shown in these videos. However, these manipulation tasks are too challenging to be achieved for existing robots. In this work, we desire to learn models for dynamic 3D scene purely from 2D visual observations and use the learned representation to do control tasks. We also hope that the learned scene representations are environment to the change of camera viewpoints, as shown in the following examples. In the left example, we show that the viewpoint of the goal image given to the robot is inside the training distribution. In the right example, we show that the viewpoint of the goal image given to the robot is outside the training distribution. The videos show the result of our proposal method. Our model can control the upper container and pour certain water to the lower container, which is close to the given goal image. And here is the overview of the proposed method. Our model consists of three parts. In the left part, there is an encoder that maps the visual observations into a latent scene representation. In the middle part, we modify the NERF model to render the visual observation condition on the scene representation and the query viewpoint. In the right part, there is a dynamic model that predicts the evolution of the latent representation condition on the input action. Next, Yunzhu will show more results. Thanks, Shuang. I'm Yunzhu. Here I show the results on future prediction and novel view synthesis. The inputs to our model are the initial visual observations and the subsequent action sequence. The model has to predict into the future in the latent space and render the image when queried from a specific viewpoint. Here is another example where we shake a box of fluid together with a nice cube floating on the surface. Although the rendered image is a little more blurry than the ground truth, our method can reconstruct the robots, estimate the position of the container, the cubes, and the shape of the fluids with reasonable accuracy, which is enough for us to perform closed loop feedback control. Here is another example where three cubes fall down and collide with each other. To estimate whether our state representation retain a good estimate of the contents inside the 3D scene, image and the images on the right side are the nearest neighbors measured in the state's representation space from four different viewpoints. The nerd thing representations can retrieve reasonable neighboring images. Here we show the closed loop feedback control results using our learned model. It can achieve the target configuration shown in the left image. Our model consistently outperforms a baseline that trained via multi-view data using time contrasting learning, showing the power of, a, of the spatial equivalence encoded in our model. Note that both methods use sampling-based model predictive control algorithms named MPPI to get feedbacks from the environment and derive the control signals. We also use auto-decoding auto test time optimization mechanisms to allow our model generalized to viewpoints outside the training distribution. In summary, we propose to learn 3D aware representations from visual observations that can perform long-term future predictions and novel view synthesis, and can facilitate closed loop feedback control from novel viewpoints. We hope this work can inspire future studies of more generalizable visual motor control systems for complicated dynamic environments. Thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you for your presentation. Any questions from the audience? Yu? Yeah, you had a question that uh, how to use a NERF to represent uh, fluence. Do you model dynamics of fluence in NERF? Yeah, NERF recently is very hot. And uh, yeah. Yeah, NERF is more, more powerful uh, models to NERF representations of the 3D things and has a lot of nice properties like spatial equivalence. Our framework is basically an auto-encoding framework, where the NERF mainly acts as an encoder that takes uh, latent representations of the environments and predicts um, the neural radiance field of the environments, which is basically a conditional generative model. So this auto-encoding framework, where the encoder takes observation of the environments and encodes the things into this latent representation, 
which encodes, like for example, the shape of fluids, the position states of the robot and the container. So the dynamics mainly happens at the latent representation space, where the dynamics model are predicting the evolution of the latent space, which um, part of it is about the dynamics of the fluid. 